Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are already subscribed, welcome back. And for those of you who have never been here before and have never seen my face, welcome. So today I am going to be doing a tutorial on how I got this look, this beautiful wig look. As you can tell from the title, um, this is a wig. So this is my very first tutorial, well, very first wig tutorial. Um, this is not my first wig, but this is my first wig tutorial. So this is a 5x5 five five crozier wig and I'm going to be telling you all the stuff that you would need to know about how to install this wig. Um, it's very, very beginner friendly because I am very, very much a beginner. I am not really into the hair scene. Just kind of dabble here and there. Just from my own self, for, like, for, my, for myself. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about this hair. I paid for this hair myself. Everything that you see in this video, I purchased. And this wig is from Nadula here on Instagram. This wig is the Nadula 5x5 HD Lace Closure Wig. It is 100% human hair, body wave style, and the hair color is natural black and it is a lace closure wig. Um, the hair density is 180. I actually, th I actually thought that wasn't going to be enough, but I actually think it is pretty good. Um, so the density is 180% and this is in 22 inches. So, I mean, I actually am kind of short and obviously the hair is curled right now, but this is where it comes on me. Like, yeah, so 22 inches, and this hair was this wig was $289.95. Sorry, $289.65. And, um, yeah, so that's basically it about the hair. Everything else I kind of like discuss in the video. Um, I will be showing you everything from like how I customize the wig. I'm not sure if it came, I'm not sure if it came pre pre plucks or knots bleached because I did bleach the knots and I did pre pluck it. I did pluck it. Um so I'm gonna be showing you how I customize it and how I like curl it, apply it, install it, all the shebang. And as I said I'm not a professional so I just did it my way and it worked so far so good. Alright guys so this is the box that the hair comes in. It comes with one wig cap it also came with a pair of lashes that I probably won't wear and also a necklace that I probably won't wear but thank you guys so much for the extra gifts on the inside and then this is the curl pattern it's such a such a pretty curl pattern and um, I was just kind of like doing my own like you know little finger through it test to see if it had any shedding I'm just showing you guys how the lace looks and the you know the closure and the parting space and the knots and stuff like that um so i'm showing you guys the combs it comes with three combs two on each side by the ear and then one at the back and it also comes with that bra strap band that most wigs do come with and just to remind you guys this is a five by five closure wig um i really really like the curl pattern and i actually had no shedding and i'm just checking out like the you know the ends of the hair to see if it had any split ends the ends were pretty good it felt pretty healthy so i'm just putting it on my wig head on um, turn it inside out because i'm getting ready to bleach the knots of the wig So just showing you guys the products that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using this purple shampoo, a uh, 30 volume developer, um, this little hair brush, a rat tail comb, and also a Vela powder bleach. Um, and I'm just going to pour it into this little bowl and mix it up. Y'all know, know everything, um, just to norm. And I'm honestly just doing this by ear because I, I am not a professional. So just trying to get the consistency that I want. I was actually listening to a video while I was watching and listening to a video while I was doing this. And she said to make sure it was pretty thick. 
um so now i'm just going to be applying it and i'm going to be pretty heavy handed for the most part at the back but then i'm going to be very or almost light handed at the front like by the hairline um because i don't want those knots to get too over processed but my wig ended up being over bleached anyway not too much but just a little bit and i'm going to set my timer for 25 minutes the video that i was watching she actually set her timer for 28 minutes and i just washed it out with water and now i'm going to be using my purple shampoo just to get rid of that kind of brassy tint that you guys can see there on the lace and I actually use a lot of the shampoo. Like this took me so so long to wash out. Uh, I actually use too too much. Okay, so as you can see, like I I did over bleach a little bit, but still I didn't feel like my knots were bleached like how I would have liked them. Um, but the hair kind of got bleached more than I would have wanted it to. So right now I'm just here like parting um, the front so that I can get ready to do some plucking on these knots. And um, I don't like I, I all the videos I've seen they say do not do it so close to the hairline that's why I'm parting it and kind of doing it at the back because you don't want the hairline to start to bald too much or too fast so that's why I'm parting and then plucking and then parting again and then plucking some more so as I said like um, I think it is pre plucked but I still wanted to do my own little thing. And I am just plucking and combing and plucking and combing out the excess as I go. It honestly is kind of like what you prefer. It's how you prefer to do it. And I, I have heard everyone say that it's better to pluck it on wet hair because you can kind of see it a little bit better. So that's why I did not blow dirty hair as yet. I just was plucking it on wet hair and making it easier for me to see and I am also plucking not too close to the part to the middle part because you also don't want the middle part to ball too much and then I'm actually just plucking the hairline now just to you know keep it and make it to my own liking because I'm customizing it for myself so just based on my particular liking like what I you know what I see So I'm going to blow dry the hair and then I'm going to show you guys all the hair that was plucked. So this is all that I plucked out, um, everything that I plucked. I'm showing you guys the braiding pattern, very simple, doesn't have to be perfect. And okay, so guys about the wig cap. So I showed you guys the wig cap and I showed you guys how I tinted the wig cap and stuff like that. But I ended up not using the wig cap because when I had the wig on, I was still able to see the wig cap underneath. So I didn't like that. So I ended up taking the wig off. I ended up taking the wig cap off. So here the wig is on my head with the wig cap off. And I'm just like adjusting it, you know, doing my parting space, all that jazz. And then the first thing that I did was cut off these tabs so that when I do cut the lace, I don't have any tabs on it. So I cut the two tabs off at either side of the 5x5 closure. And I'm just like adjusting it onto my forehead. And then because I was wearing makeup while I was doing this, I was just kind of cleaning it off because I am going to be gluing it down with this got to be glued spray. And I'm just using the back of the end of the comb to like, you know, make it, make sure it's just pretty flat, as flat as it can be and really melt it into my skin. And then I'm going in with my blow dryer on the cool setting and just trying to kind of set that in place. I don't know guys, this is what I see all the girls do, so I'm going to do it too. So now we are cutting the lace off and I'm just using the scissors and trying to use a jagged, trying to not give it a straight cut but just trying to cut it as best as I could and applying more of that got to be spray but this time using a little bit of the hairline 
just so that I can, you know, make it a little bit, lay a little bit better. And I'm cutting my baby hairs. I am not going to cut them too short because I don't want to be, I don't want to cut them too short where I can't go back. I'm just taking the elastic band that actually comes with the hair and wrapping it around my head just to lay down the edges for however long I keep this on for. I didn't know. I don't, I don't remember how long I did. Okay, so I'm using the Murray's beeswax because I didn't have like a wax stick. So I saw someone say that this could work as well because it's just wax. And then I'm going to be using my hot comb to just make the hair lay as flat as it could. Um, I think I just I think I used a little bit too much wax, but I'm not too sure because I feel like it looks a little bit too greasy. Um, so I'm just gonna go through the hair with the hot comb, and I'm just showing you guys how flowy the hair looks. It was very very soft, very flowy, very very bouncy and very movable. Um, and now I'm just cutting the baby hairs a little bit shorter as I go. Um, I'm just as I said, guys, I'm a beginner again and accustomed to this wig look, this wig life. It's not, it's not something I'm accustomed to. So now I'm going to be taking this foam, and this is just some strictly curls foam. Any kind of foam can work, and I'm just trying to lay my baby hairs or do a little bit of something with my baby hairs. I didn't really like it, but uh, you know, it, it was working for the time being. And then I'm going to be curling my hair with a curling wand because I do not have like a curling iron. Um, so I just have this curling wand, and I was just using that. And I think it came out pretty good. I'm not, as I said, I'm not a professional, so guys, you know, don't judge me. I may not be doing it correctly, but it works for me. Alright guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. I love, I love it. The curls are super gorgeous. The hair just feels so good. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching my video. And I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Hit the like button, subscribe, and come back and check out more of my videos. Thank you guys so much.